A fellow YouTuber PM'd me the other day about how I connected an iPod up to a vintage reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder on the head connection. Now I told him I'd get back to him on it, but uh, it's been quite a long time because I was, I've been busy with a few other things, but I've got some time now to do that, so I'm going to do a complete walkthrough on how to do it. These are the four things you're going to need. There's two resistors here. One of them is a 10 kilo ohm resistor and the other one is a 100 ohm resistor. You're going to need an audio lead with a 3.5 millimeter jack plug on the end and some spare audio cable here. Now you'll notice on the resistors that they have four colored bands. There are three bands together there, as you can see. And a little bit further on there's a fourth band, which is separated from the other three. Now this resistor here, you can see the bands are brown, black, brown. Now the colored bands on the resistors represent different numbers. Brown is 1 and black is 0. So the numbers on this resistor are 1, 0, 1. And the way to work out the resistance of a resistor is you take those first two numbers, which in this case is 1, 0. Then the other number tells you how many zeros to add. So this resistor is 1, 0 plus another 0 which gives you 100. Zero, zero. So this resistor is 100 ohms. Now this resistor, you can see the bands are brown, black, orange. Now orange is 3, so this resistor is 103. So three zeros have to be added to the number, so it's 10000. Zero, 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 zero. So this is a 10,000 ohm resistor, or 10 kilo ohms. Now the audio cable you're going to need in this case is just single core audio cable and first we need to strip the end of it to get to the actual wire. Now if you don't have wire cutters you can do this with an ordinary pair of scissors. Just nibble away at the end of the cable until you can pull the insulation off. and you can get to the wire inside. You'll notice that there's one piece of wire that has no insulation on it and another piece of wire that does. So we'll just take the insulation off the end of the other piece of wire and now you have the two exposed ends. Now you take your 100 ohm resistor remember it's the one with the brown black brown stripes on it camera's not focusing and you just connect that to the wires like I'm showing you here at least trying to show you so my hands are getting in the way so you want to make sure the connection is like this you can see how I've connected the resistor to the cable here now you connect to the 10 kilo ohm resistor, which you'll remember is the one with the brown, black, orange stripes. It must be connected to this wire here. Must not connect it to this one. So just connect that here. You can just twist the leads together to connect them. So it should now look like this. Now for your connector cable, as before like the other piece of cable, just nibble away at the end until you can pull the insulation off. Obviously being careful not to go through the wire. Now you'll notice inside that there are two wires. One of them is usually red and the other one is usually white. So do the same as you did with the other piece of cable. Now just twist the red and white wires together. So you should have something like this. Now you do not want to connect this piece of uninsulated wire to the other two wires as well because that will make a short circuit and it will not work. Now if you've got two cables coming out of the plug, that's okay. You just need to strip these two like I showed you before. And after you've stripped the insulation off, again you'll see that there's a red wire and a white wire. So just like with the other cable, just twist them together to connect them. And you can cut off one of the uninsulated wires because you'll only need one. And now you're ready to connect that to the rest of what you've already made. So let's get them connected. 
Now you take the piece of uninsulated wire and connect that to the other piece of uninsulated wire on the other cable. So we've now got something like this. And the unconnected end of the other resistor, you just connect that to the other wire, the other two wires. And there you go, there's an attenuating cable, and it's now ready to be connected up to the tape recorder's head connection. Now you need to find out which connections on the head are the signal and the ground connections. you notice on this cable there are two wires coming out. One of them is red and one of them is blue. The red one is usually the signal wire, but sometimes there's a white wire and a black wire, sometimes there's a red wire and a white wire, sometimes... Well, the wires can be all kinds of colours, so... To test for which one is the actual signal wire, just touch one of the wires on the head, and if you hear a buzz... <coughs> then you found the signal wire. Now, if you touch the ground wire... You may hear a little click, but if you don't hear a buzz... And you found the ground wire. Now you're ready to connect it to the tape head. You can see it from the side here, which is a much better angle. Now it's a good idea to turn it off when you do this. Not so much to, to prevent yourself electrocuting yourself, but because you don't want it buzzing while you're connecting the wires. So you connect the piece of uninsulated wire to the ground connection on the head you now may be able to see that that is now connected to the head's ground connection. Now with the other piece of wire, just connect that to the other connection on the head, which is the signal connection, and you're ready to go. It should, you should be able to play your iPod through it, so let's test it. Well, I was going to do a test. I've just recently added a song to the iPod to test it with, but, um... Try to play it, and the stupid thing just reboots every time I try to play that particular song. So I don't quite know what's going on here. Those iPods are a piece of crap anyway, but let's see if it will play a different song. It's still rebooting. Okay, I'm going to songs. I mean music, I'm going to songs. Let's find a different song to play. Try to find one that's not one of my own crappy songs. Let's do. Okay, the volume's probably gone back to zero, hasn't it? This has gone a bit bad, that's why it doesn't sound too good. The voice coil is um, catching on the magnet. I'm just doing this so if this is a WMG song, they won't detect it. Well, I can touch it, and, um, well, I guess that's it for now, so. Hope this has helped, and until next time, goodbye.